start at the back of the grid after running and wrong mapping in qualifying. By now, unbelievably, Binder was already involved in the battle for fourth. It wouldn't take long for him to hit the lead as well. With six laps to go into dry sacks, he made the move on Navarro and they almost touched, forcing Navarro to run slightly wide. Binder taking his debut Moto3 victory from 35th on the grid. The first South African to win in the lightweight class ever. The first South African rider to win a GP since John Eckerold in Monza in 1981 in the 350cc class. What a way to make a debut. David, both of your riders from yesterday to today have really turned things around and you have helped them. But um, like this is meant to be not a good circuit in general for uh, the Vizioso and uh, look where he is. They're not Lorenzo. Sorry Simon, oh. we're going to have to cut in. We have to cut in. De Vizioso, Lorenzo and Pedrosa are all down. De Vizioso took turn six slightly wide, forcing his Spanish teammate closer to the turn to avoid a collision. Unfortunately, at that moment, Danny Pedrosa made his move following the race line tight through the bend, and the two home riders made contact, sending them both to the ground, taking Davizioso with them in a heart-stopping crash. Okay, Davizioso got Lorenzo, then ran in wide. Lorenzo was cutting it back. Look at Pedrosa. Pedrosa's just so far leaned off that bike. Oh, God, blimey. Look at this bang oh. on his left hip, on the right wrist as well, his right hip, rather. Dovi got it done on the inside, but he drifts wide. Lorenzo goes wide as well. Lorenzo then cuts back. Over, closes the door on Danny Petrosa. Number 93 led from lap 8, building a bigger and bigger lead ahead of the rest of the field. To finally cross the line, taking his second victory of the season and his second ever victory in Jerez. Good afternoon from Jerez in Spain for the fourth round of the 500cc World Championship. Massive crowd, glorious sunshine, 27 laps of this classic Grand Prix motorcycle racing circuit. They love their motorbikes in this part of the world. Here they come onto the start and finish line, the open grandstand away to our, well, their right, the pits to the left, the famous bridge over the circuit. Very good start from Doohan from the front row, but on his inside, it's Alex Crivier who is going to lead, surely. No, can Laura come through? Crivier takes over at the front, though, as they go into turn two. This is really dangerous. Look at Doohan sliding the rear, come around, and look, the race, there are fans on the track already. This is incredible, since I've never seen anything like this in my life. Incredible, they're on the track, the fans. Here comes Nick Doohan. They're going to go into the final corner, and they touch going in there, on board with Crivier. Oh, and Crivier's gone down! Mick Doohan wins the Spanish Grand Prix here at Jerez. And the fans, really, they'll think that Crivier's won it, but they won't see him. It's Doohan who's going to win the day, but they won't be too happy when they see what's happened. And a little bit dangerous, isn't it, this? Yeah, very dangerous indeed. In fact, the fans were on the track before the race had finished. Let, here we go. Let's, let's have, have a look. look. Did they touch? They come in between, and Doohan's there. And, well, they do touch, don't they? But... Right, it got very tight and that. And you can see Crivier now tried to correct it by getting the drive out the corner. And that's just desperation, wasn't it? To win his own Grand Prix. 